Hey, it's Lori Wilson, your favorite realtor, AKA that realtor with the poof. And I'm coming back to you with a good one. Stay tuned. Five steps to buying your new house. Number one, you're gonna find yourself a good realtor, such as myself. And if you're having trouble finding a realtor, um, some other ways that you can go about doing that is one, either going to a open house, um, two, you could go ahead and go to a brokerage, or three, just really keep your eyes open because we're literally everywhere. Number two, consultation and pre-approval. So when you find that good realtor, they're usually gonna set you up with a, an appointment, also known as a buyer's consultation. And basically that's just to make sure that you and the realtor are on the same page as far as the criteria that you're looking for in your next home. <clears throat> as far as the pre-approval process goes, your realtor is going to hook you, hook you up with a good lender to make sure that uh, we get, we're looking in the right price range as far as the house goes and that we're not looking too high and we're not looking too low, right? This just avoids wasting your time and ours. Number three, we're going to go ahead and tour homes and make an offer. So once we know the criteria that you're looking for and we know the price range that you can purchase in, we're going to go ahead and tour homes and we're going to compare them to the best houses that you thought that you liked. And then when we find the house that you love, that's when we're going to go ahead and put that, that offer in, right? Number four, get the offer accepted, get the contract written, and the inspection, okay? So the inspection is a very important part of the home buying process for the simple fact that we want to make sure it goes as smoothly as possible, right? So if there's something wrong with the roof, we're going to want to make sure that the seller go ahead goes ahead and takes care of that. So that way, when you move in, the house is as turnkey as possible, okay? Number five is home insurance and warranty and closing. Now, the home insurance and warranty are completely optional. However, I do recommend that our, all my clients get a home insurance and warranty for the simple fact that it's just very important to do. And I will touch on that more in another video, so stay tuned. Now. When it comes to the closing process, basically, when you leave the table, you're gonna get your keys and you're gonna go home and live your life. So that's pretty much all there is to buying a home. Now, if you are in the Clearwater area and you do need help and you need a good realtor, you can go ahead and feel free to contact me on all my any of my social media con or accounts. They're all linked in the bottom and also my email as well. So um, I'm here to help if you guys need it. Now. Another thing I wanna say is if you did enjoy this video, um, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe and also hit that notification bell because I have a lot more content like this that's coming. So your favorite realtor is out. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.